Hey Chase, uh, welcome to Miami first and foremost. Um, you know, obviously playing for the Cardinals uh, previously, you, you know, you faced Mike McDaniel's former team uh, several times. Uh, what was your impression in be being on the other side of the field and kind of seeing those offenses and then how you can kind of fit yourself uh, in this offense that he seeks to bring to Miami? Yeah, Daniel, um, I think the one thing that really just stood out to me uh, watching San Fran twice a year in their offense was uh, the creativity of it. Really felt like McDaniel did a really good job of just being creative and kind of playing to his his player styles. I feel like that's one thing that's lost in coaching is that guys uh, sometimes try to always rely on a scheme or whatever it is that they're bringing into an offense, and then they kind of lose uh, the, the focal point of really playing to your players' abilities. And I felt like McDaniel's and the Niners they did a great job of just playing to their players' abilities, playing to their strengths, finding ways to utilize guys and maximizing their efficiency. Thank you. David, Sun Sentinel. Hey, Chase, welcome to Miami. Um, how do you think you and Raheem Mostert could work together, complement each other uh, in this Mike McDaniel run game you mentioned? Yeah, man, I, I love the idea. I love that concept of me and Raheem in the backfield together. Uh, I was a big fan of his game, unfortunately, before he got injured. And just to really, you know, see his explosiveness. Uh, honestly, probably the fastest running back in the NFL uh, when he's at the top speed. So I think it really uh, brings a, a sense of explosiveness to the offense. And then, you know, being able to capitalize on just us both having uh, really good yards per carry averages, I think that's something that we can uh, look to do to, to help this offense. Please raise your hand, guys, if you have a question. Joe, Palm Beach Post. Hey, Chase, it's Joe in Palm Beach. It's nice to meet you. Uh, trivia question. My dad actually played football at Fordham, so we'll have a conversation about that one day. <laughs> He's, okay. uh, he's, a couple, he's a couple of years older than you. Another yes, Dolphin, yep. uh, Issa abdul Kadus played at Fordham, too. I don't know if you heard of him. He was a Dolphin safety. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Issa playing at Miami. Yes, sir. So uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll ask you a football question. How, how would you describe your strength at this point in your career? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, Joe, I think my strength is just my versatility. I feel like, you know, I can be every down back. Uh, whether it's first, second down to take a carry, whether it's third down to become a receiving back, and also third down in terms of uh, pass protection. So that's that, that's one thing for me that I think that um, is, is really my strength and what I'm trying to just continue to build on uh, with my, my career going into the NFL. Just being more versatile, I feel like, uh, especially just with the way the NFL is going, um, you see the running back position, it's kind of devalued. You know, guys circle in, circle out. You know, they're always trying to get younger guys and cheaper guys. Um, so I really feel like, you know, in order to, keep my career growing and, and, and be able to positively impact uh, whichever team I'm on. That's just, you know, building off the versatility, whether it's catching out the backfield, you know, being someone of receiver, whether it's, you know, obviously blocking and pass pro for the quarterback. I guess my, my follow-up will actually tie in the Fordham deal. <clears throat> how, how, how would you describe your journey? You know what I'm saying? Obviously from a smaller school to where you are today, how would you describe the journey? Yeah. Uh, Man, the journey has been a hell of a ride. And I think, uh, you know, in life, really, that's, that's what it's all about. It's about our individual journeys. Everyone has their own journey. And um, for me, it's just been one hell of a ride because, you know, coming out of high school, I didn't really have a lot of offers. Uh, not a lot of people really wanted to touch me. And, you know, being, going and forward and kind of just trusting that, you know, I felt like that was the right place for me scheme-wise and being able to build on that and then, you know, taking that, that blue chip, that blue collar mentality that I have in terms of just working hard, making sure I'm always the hardest worker on the field, making sure I'm a great teammate. I think that really molded me into the man and to the player that I am today, uh, coming from Fordham to Arizona. And just, you know, again, just trying to build off my resume from Arizona, not to Miami, and just always find ways to improve. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Hi, Chase. Good to have you here. Heard what factors made you give the go-ahead to Drew to accept the Dolphins offer really early in free agency as opposed to waiting it out a little bit? What was your name again, brother? I, I missed that. Uh, Barry Jackson, Miami Herald. Barry? Barry, okay. Uh, yeah, Barry. Um, for, for me, when I made my decision, uh, I kind of had a list of things. You know, I had a list of my priorities. And you know, I kind of already had an idea of which teams were interested in me. Um, so I just laid out my priorities, man. I kind of labeled, labeled out each team of did it fit those priorities and kind of where it, it stood at in terms of what I was looking for. Um, Miami, I really liked Miami because McDaniel, I really felt like McDaniel could, could utilize me in ways where 
uh, you know, it kind of benefits me to my, to my playing ability. So that was really a, a, a home run hitter for there. Obviously, no state income tax helps a little bit, and uh, the location is, is cool. But really, I just felt like Miami was building off something special. You know, they were, I think they were nine wins last year. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not, what was it, nine was the year before that? Or 10 maybe? 10 and nine. 10, 10 and nine. 10 and um, nine last year, yep. Yeah, yeah, and I like the defense. The defense is already set in stone. I think I read somewhere where, like, every start on the defense was under 30. So, to me, that was a strong foundation. I felt like I trusted Greer. I trusted McDaniel to, to bring in the pieces that they felt the team needed to take that next step on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, and, you know, so that kind of led into my decision going with Miami. You know, I just felt like individually and collectively as a team, it was a good fit for me. Thanks so much, Chase. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Omar Kelly, Sun Sentinel. You touched on a little bit earlier of with backs being sort of devalued and, and the game sort of evolving. Um, how how important is it that this kind of seems like a team that's going to be run first, run heavy, and anti what's going on with, with football today? How important yeah. is part of that? Uh, repeat the last part of that question one more time for me, Omar. I kind of broke up. In terms of, you know, you guys have a fullback. You guys want to be yeah. a heavy offense. How, how important was being part of something like that, going basically anti-establishment? Uh, you know, importance-wise, it, it has something to do with it, but I kind of, I'm more so, man, you know, I, I was following McDaniel. I, I really believe that he's a guru. I was told he was a guru from players that I trust and that he was a really good player coach as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of putting my, my faith in, in him. I feel like he's a creative guy, man. He's going to find a way to utilize all his players that we have on the offensive side of the ball, find a way to utilize what we're all good at, what we're best at, and keeping it at that. And, um, you know, I think that that's really important for just a, a player's development in this league. You know, uh, when someone or when a coaching staff asks a guy to do too much, that's where you kind of see the mistakes. But if you ask a guy to do what he's comfortable with, you ask a guy, to do what he's well at, what he's best at, that's when you see the best version of that player. And I think McDaniel can can get that out of us offensively. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions for Chase? We'll go to Alan, SI.com. Uh, hi, Chase. Welcome to South Florida, as the others I've said before. Uh, I'm just curious <laughs> whether you had any any uh, connections, either former teammates, former friends, anything like that with uh, anybody on the team? Yeah, so uh, it was Alan. Alan, yeah. Yeah, Alan. So um, uh, I did not, actually. Um, funny thing is, though, after I got signed, I think like a day and a half later, one of my best friends from the Arizona Cardinals, Trent Sherfield, he's coming down to Miami. So that's really the only connection that I have uh, in terms of people I knew in the NFL. So it's, it's kind of a whole new startup, whole new situation for me myself. So I'm kind of just learning on the fly. Uh, 